If you want your car to save gas, then you simply need to increase the amount of air into the cylinder to increase the efficiency of the combustion, which will also give increased horsepower. Firstly, make sure you check these three very important factors. Number one. Make sure there's two centimeters of space between the throttle and the cylinder. Number two. Confirm that your car's intake manifold is strong enough to stretch. The intake manifold should have no cracks from aging or inflexibility. Number three. Make sure your car's throttle cable is long enough and is able to cover the extra length. When these three steps are confirmed, then you can continue installation of the product. The first step is to remove your car's original throttle gasket. The second step is to take a print of the shape of the throttle body gasket. This can be done by covering the gasket surface with an ink or other specific paint and, before it dries, covering it with a piece of paper to take an imprint of the shape. Alternatively, a simple pencil rubbing can be done by covering the gasket with paper and rubbing the pencil over the shape of the gasket. Please ensure the shape of the gasket is clearly visible whichever method is used. Things to focus on from the rubbing. We need to determine which holes within the gasket are useful and which are not. If the holes are directly connected to an intake pipe, then they are useful. If they are just a shallow pit with no connection, then they are not useful. The useful holes must be clearly visible on the print of the gasket. Any screw holes within the gasket are also important to us and must be clearly marked on the print of the gasket. Ensure that the position of the throttle valve is installed towards the top and pointing towards the hood of the car. If the throttle is installed horizontally, then it is not required to determine the position of the throttle. Only vertically installed throttles need to determine the position of the throttle. The third step is to measure the length of the screw that holds the gaskets in place. We need to know the length of the screw from tip to base of the screw head, excluding the screw head. We also need to know the diameter of the screw and, if possible, the length of the thread on the screw. The final step is to send all of the data to us and we can serve you efficiently and sincerely.